What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video and today I want to give you guys a quick update on the global top grossing situation after the release of the Fizz Transforming Piccolo last night and I gotta say I am quite surprised about what's going on right now but before we get into that I want to let you guys know that I probably won't be talking too much about whether or not we can expect top grossing stones or top grossing rewards for this celebration because honestly, I really don't know. Bandai has been pretty inconsistent about this stuff in the past and since this isn't for a major celebration like a dual Dokkan Fest or an anniversary or a download celebration or anything like that, I definitely feel like there's a good chance or a higher chance that even if we do hit top grossing in multiple regions, we still won't get anything for it. Obviously, I hope that's not the case, but I just think it's a possibility, so I don't want to give anybody, you know, false expectations, right? So with that disclaimer out of the way, let's talk about the top grossing status. And uh, we're currently on App Annie, which is my preferred website for checking stats on apps. We're filtered by the Google Play Store, by France, overall, all apps. And the date is January 6th, 2020, which is today. And as you can see right here in this grossing column, at number one overall top grossing we have everybody's favorite mobile game dragon ball z dokkan battle <sighs> i don't know how they do it guys i really don't know how france does it every single time no matter what the banner is no matter what the celebration is no matter how unhype the new unit is they somehow always find a way to get us to top grossing it's really quite insane and uh i mean i think i was wrong to doubt them in the first place but i was just thinking like piccolo being one of at least in my opinion the least hype dokkan fest units we've received in a while i think super 13 later on is probably even less so but piccolo was definitely not a very highly anticipated unit by any means and a lot of people have told me that they plan to skip his banner altogether yet somehow france is still up there they're still number one top grossing in the Google Play Store right now, which is just crazy. It's just crazy. So anyways, uh, I'm not going to complain about it too much or I'm not going to ask too many questions because it doesn't really matter why they're up there. I mean, if you think about it, a big part is probably because of the additional discount packs that we got in the in-game store with Piccolo. And I think a lot of people probably picked up those packs, not for the Piccolo banner, but rather for the Step Up banner since uh, a lot of people still need to finish off their uh, final round or their last two rounds or something like that. So uh, that does make a little bit more sense. But another part of it is also the fact that they actually made Piccolo's banner a lot better than we were expecting, right? They added the Namek transforming Goku, they added the full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and uh, it's just overall a much better banner, a much more exciting banner to summon on. So it's probably a combination of those two things, but either way, like I said, I'm not gonna ask too many questions. All I'm gonna say is thank you, France, for carrying Global on your back over and over again. You guys are freaking awesome. So that is the Google Play side of things. If we move over to the iOS store, it's not as amazing on that side right now, but we're still pretty close. So as you can see, Dokkan is currently at number three overall top grossing, just under Clash Royale, as well as this Ezer music and podcast player that always seems to be up there for some reason. I don't understand it. If you guys know what this is all about, let me know in the comments down below. For some reason, this app is always um, at number one in the iOS store. But anyways, so uh, we're currently at number three. There's definitely a chance that we also get to number one within the next you know day or two in the iOS store and uh, beat out these two apps. I mean, we are kind of trending upwards, although Clash Royale somehow jumped 22 spots. So I don't know if there's like a big event, a big celebration going on over there, but um, there's a chance. There's definitely a chance we get to number one here as well. And um, one other region I actually want to look at before we go is, uh, let me just search this up, Hong Kong, which is typically pretty good for top grossing uh, on global as well. And as you can see, for the iOS store in Hong Kong, 
Uh, Dokkan is currently at number one, jumping seven places last night. And when it comes to the Google Play side, I think uh, we're currently at around like seven or eight or something like that. Currently at seven. So uh, this could also get to number one. It's a little bit less likely, but there's always a chance. And aside from Hong Kong and France, there are also a few other regions that are pretty close right now. So uh, this is the Google Play Store, and of course France is number one, but Luxembourg is currently at number two. We could definitely get to number one within the next day or two. There's also Spain at number two, Switzerland at number four, Italy at number five, Germany at number six, Netherlands, Hong Kong at number seven, and uh, Austria is currently at number eight as well. So. There's definitely the chance that a few other regions will also get to number one. Uh, if we move over to the iOS side of things, it looks a little bit more bleak on that side. I mean, of course, we have Hong Kong at number one right now. Uh, France is at number three. And then uh, Luxembourg's at number five. Spain's at number eight. Portugal's at number ten. So I feel like Luxembourg has a chance. France definitely has a chance. So uh, yeah, multiple regions multiple regions hitting number one either right now or in the near future but as I said in the beginning of this video it's really hard to say whether or not we'll get rewards for it I really hope we do I think we deserve them but uh, at the end of the day it's up to Bandai if we do get them I would expect them within the next like three to four days I mean it really depends right it could be two days it could be five days but sometime during the celebration we would be able to get them but if not if they decide that you know it's not big enough of a celebration and we don't feel like giving out free stones then it is what it is right so that's the update for you guys today hope you guys learned something from this video hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, as always, if you guys liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.